Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be taking a look at a potential issue with the Wanhao i3 version 2. So, a um, good YouTube friend of mine, Nor Norbert Davis, kind of pointed this out. And a few people on the interweb are discussing it, that um, there could be problems with the heated bed, uh, which is this connector right here. Now, I took a look at mine, I opened it up, and everything looks good here. Um, there's, a, again, some of the discussion about the wire connectors and things like that. And I did check mine, and while the lugs were tight, the uh, positive was, wasn't seated as good as it could be. It wasn't terrible. So I've, you know, I loosened up the, the lugs and I've reset it uh, in there. I've also checked the other lugs, and they all seem to be pretty tight, so I don't see an issue there. Uh, also, I'll put some overlays, close-up overlays. I took some uh, macro images of the connectors and stuff, and I'll, I'll put those as overlays now as I'm kind of doing this, putting this connector back in. So I don't really see anything here as a problem. Now, um, doesn't mean you can't have a problem, but what I want to do is I've also got a FLIR thermal imaging camera. So what I want to do is I want to do some... Uh, heat up the bed and let's see how hot that's getting because if this is actually shorting out what we'll do is on the floor is we'll be able to see the heat signatures so I'm gonna go ahead and warm up the bed on this and uh, we're gonna come back and we're gonna take a look at it with the floor okay so we're back and what I've done is I've told the one how to heat the bed up to 90 degrees C because one of the things that uh, I was seeing in the notes is that 80 degrees C is where this was happening. Now typically I only print PLA and I only operate around 60 C on the bed. But one of the things as you can see on the floor and what I'll do is I'll actually do an overlay is the whole circuit by the heated bed lights up like a Christmas tree. So right now it's it's at about room temperature here is I think around 20 C and about 20 23 C and right now this is at about 60 C and climbing well it's actually what about 56 58 and it's it's definitely climbing so um, you notice that that really lights up pretty heavy um, so that is interesting and you can see the the MOSFET beneath it down here um, also lighting up on the other side of the board. Now, what I do is I have the back side of the board, not the circuit side of the board, and that's what's um, that, that that's what you're seeing. So I'm not looking at the component side. So this is pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if that's actually hot enough to do some damage or if it'll keep climbing. It seems to be, you know, staying pretty warm, but um, not hugely where I would really freak out, I think, it because I would look for it more so to get into like the 100 or uh, or something like that before I, I got really concerned that it's going to melt something, but it's definitely heating up. Uh, what I want to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut here and, and I'm going to uh, activate the extruder to the hot sorry not the extruder the hot end and see what happens when I do that. Okay, so I've activated the the hot end. I've set it to 200 C, and you can see and uh, I'll do do an overlay, but uh, the 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 hot end is next to the bed uh, connector with this other wire because this wire is the fix that I did that Juan Howe suggested um, in their in their website but you can see that even at 200 that this is not heating up proportionally like the bed especially for su such a small area so Again, this has been running for a fair number of minutes, and I'm having a hard time kind of hand-holding this to this position. And, and it's only staying right around about 60, you know, 50, mid 50 C. And if I move it over and I take the target of the 
the hot end. I'm about, about, about the same temperature, but there's definitely, you can see the localization is pretty high. But now nah, the hot end seems to be like it's catching up. But I wonder if this isn't, you look at this whole scenario like this, and again, let me do another uh, overlay. And uh, you can see that whole area of the board is heating up. I don't think, I, I tell you, my personal opinion, and this is personal opinion, I'm not an electronics engineer, well, at least not by trade, but uh, uh, this is this is not probably the best scenario. Now, I've said earlier on in earlier videos where I did this wiring fix, I wasn't impressed with the Wanhaus uh, power supply connection because most of the other printers that I have or I have built they have a, have a separate connection to the power supply where the Wanhao only has one. But that's really not the, um, the issue here, uh, at least I don't think. Maybe somebody can comment below that knows a little bit better than I. But um, this heating issue is, is still rather interesting. And again, you can kind of see now that after several minutes that the... Um, that the hot end has caught up a little bit but still it doesn't seem to be as localized as this but when the two are on together uh, you know it's definitely pushing a lot of current through those junctions now I've looked at the junctions and I'll put an overlay uh, of a macro image I did of, of the junctions or, or connections and I really don't see where they've been melting or anything in, in that roughly I'm trying to see here. It's hard to see because the color is white. I think it's saying it's in the 60s on the hot end, in the hot region of the hot end. Um, let me do another sc screen uh, image. Hmm. So, anyways, uh, what I wanted to do is, is again, I saw a lot out there, and I wanted to kind of do a quick video on this to kind of let you guys see. I, I would definitely, uh, you know, in my particular case. Um, I don't see this as being a huge issue. I, I would call it an issue because that much localized heat, um, you know, eh, I, I don't know how I want to phrase it, but the whole thing with the Wanhao, I think, is with most Chinese-made pieces of machinery, um, you have to be careful with. I typically, well, I, I don't run this machine unattended, so I'm always in the house, always checking on it. I, I don't leave it overnight to run, uh, those type of stuff. I, I'm more liberal with the Da Vinci's. Now, maybe I shouldn't be, but uh, I am a little bit more liberal with them, letting them run overnight. But the one how, and like the tarantula and that, I don't, I don't let run overnight because of things like this. So, anyways, I wanted to share this. Um, and maybe it's a value of folks. Uh, again, I know a number of folks have had problems. And one thing I can say is looking at this thermal image, um, there is the potential for a problem. You know, especially if you do a long print. And especially one of the things that I don't like about the the Wan Hao, and let, let me pan you over there. Let me set this down and pan you guys over. And then zoom you in a little bit. Is you see that? So that's the that's the bed. Sorry for bouncing in on the fluid head tripod there, but this 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 always concerns me because this moves back and forth and this wears on these wires, and so I could definitely see a problem arising if several of strands of the wire uh, broke and created a high. You know, in other words, you're pushing a lot of current through a very small wire, increasing the resistance, becoming a problem and having having the issue over on the power supply and you know even worse so let's just kind of pan back and take one quicker look it's kind of hard to kind of pan that far down uh, but but again so you see the connectors so this is the this is the heated bed this is the hot end and again if I come back with the fleur I'll pan you over a little bit Again, you can kind of, you can see how how much energy is being released in that area. And again, it's hard to read the the putting it right on there. Uh, 
uh, I, can't, I think it's like about 62, something like that. But you can you can clearly see, I'll move this out of the way. Let me turn off the, the cursor, the temperature cursor. However, you can definitely see that um, even the hot ends overtake in the heated bed uh, as far as temperature. So, again, I, I, I'm not really sure how bad this is. Uh, I don't want to mislead anyone. So I'm just kind of sharing this um, being what it is. So um, again, as with the, any Chinese made a device like this that's not UL certified, etc., etc., I would highly recommend, you know, always use care. Make sure it's properly grounded. Uh, don't leave it unattended for long periods of time. And, uh, you know, again, be safe with it. So hopefully this video helps someone. If it did, hey, please give it a thumbs up and uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.